I'm really excited about the new web clients. First release uh, 2018.01, so end of January 18. Uh, so it is available now. Um, and the, the key thing with it really is that it's built on modern new technology. Uh, the original web client we developed 10 or 15 years ago. Um, so, you know, it's been a, 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 an interesting process building something pretty much from scratch, but with the objective of replacing the original web client. Um, you know, the, the, the new technology will run a lot faster. And one of the key things with it, and why it's taken us a year to get this first release out, is a real focus on, on the look and feel, the user experience, making so that it's simple. You know, 10 years ago, it was a slightly different situation. These days, everybody has a mobile phone, a lot of people use tablets, laptops, you know, PC, the full range of devices, whether that's in portrait or landscape mode. So getting that user experience right um, and, and the responsiveness means that it will dynamically adjust itself relative to the device that you're using and show you, you know, more detailed information or change the view that you're currently working on. The functionality, uh, the, you know, the objective with uh, these early releases is, you know, priority number one, replace the current web client as quickly as we can. Um, we, we, we didn't want to wait to uh, release a version that replaces the current one in one hit. You know, we definitely wanted to release something as quickly as we could. So the first release is limited to searching across different object types, parts, assemblies, drawings, documents. So you can search those database tables, uh, you can find a document, you can look at what available downloads there are. You might look for a part and want to download a step model of it, a neutral file or it might be a drawing that you want to see the PDF of a drawing. So the first release is very much focused on searching for pieces of information and then being able to download them. As we move on, we'll start to increase the functionality to the point where we can replace the current web client at which, at which point we will make it obsolete. With the licensing of the new web client, is that until such times that we replace the current web client and obsolete it, we will make the new one free of charge. So any customer of DDM will be able to try the new one effectively before they buy it. You know, any existing customer that, that's paid for the, uh, the, the current web client, obviously they can use it. But it just means that it gives people the opportunity to, to try something and see how it works. You know, whether that's just internally within their business or, or in their supply chain, or, or even their customer base. As soon as we've replaced the current web client, we will start to look at building in read-write capabilities. I want to create a new document. I want to upload a document. I want to create a project folder. I might want to send that folder into the project workflow, etc. So, you know, it's difficult to say a fully functional web client because we're not there yet and we don't know the challenges that we're going to hit. But at this point in time, I can't really foresee um, you know, anything that we won't be able to deliver ultimately in the web client. You know, there's clearly a lot to do and it's a long old road to do it, um, but we, we wanna continue to deliver value. At the point when it's read-write capable, it will require a read-write license, similar to the DDM Office license, uh, and it will be based on um, concurrent floating users.